Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Millennium Stage. Tonight's performance is in collaboration with the Opera Palm Rouge and the Embassy of Japan as part of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And now, let's give a warm welcome to Tamaki Sukata, the Minister from uh, the uh, Minister of Cultural Affairs from the Embassy of Japan. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tonight we are delighted to bring you the fun and family-friendly opera, Hansel and Gretel. My name is Tamaki Tsukada, director of Japan Information and Cultural Center at the Embassy of Japan in Washington, DC. And I would like to personally thank you all for joining us today in celebration of the 2016 cherry blossom season in Washington, DC. I would also like to extend my gratitude to the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts for hosting this event and the New York City-based opera company, Opera Palm Rouge, for producing this lively performance. Many of you may be familiar with the story of Hansel and Gretel, that of two young children left to wander in the woods, leaving breadcrumbs as a trail back home. But tonight, not only will you watch this classic German folktale blossom right before your eyes, but you will also have the opportunity to savor Japanese art, such as origami paper folding, while taking part in their adventure. Before we begin, I'd like to let you know of a few other upcoming events at the Japan Information and Cultural Center. We'll be hosting, during this season, National Cherry Blossom Festival, the Millennium Stage has been kind enough to host us once more this Wednesday, March the 30th, to welcome Dois Hazuki, who will be playing the Japanese uh, instrument, Tsugaru Shamisen. This free music event will feature traditional Japanese instruments blended with modern sound. Also on April 5th, we will welcome master ceramicist Ohi Chozaemon the 11th, to open our new spring exhibit at our center. He will give a talk on Japanese crafts in tea ceremony, Japanese aesthetics in art, and Zen philosophy in crafts wares. Finally, we will be wrapping up the second half of our ongoing Japanese jazz series from April 18th through April 20th at Blues Alley, DC. Tickets are now available for purchase through the Blues Alley Jazz website. If you'd like to learn more about these events, please feel free to pick up some of our materials before you leave. The brochures are on the desk where you just entered at the gate. So I hope to see you there. Once again, thank you all for coming, and I hope you will enjoy participating in this four-dimensional family opera, Hansel and Gretel, by Opera Pomme Rouge. to the Opera Palm Rouge production of Hansel and Gretel. Today's performance is going to be very interactive, which means that all of you will be a part of the show today. And um, as you probably noticed, we've been handing out objects to everyone in the audience. These are props, and a prop is any object or item that you would use in a theatrical production like the one you will be a part of now. There are four main props in this show, including tree branches, strawberries, flowers, and magic sand. Now, if you have any of these objects, make sure you hold on to them and pay attention because Hansel and Gretel are going to need your help to tell this story. And now we're just going to tell you a little bit about what's going to happen and where all of these props will come into play. So how many of you know who Hansel and Gretel are? Yes. They are a brother and sister who live in the country with their parents. They do not have very much money or food, and they do a lot of chores to help the family broom-making business. One day, Hensel and Gretel are playing instead of doing their work, and they are caught by their mother. And as they argue, a pitcher of milk given by a neighbor is spilled, and it was the only food that they had. The mother is very angry, and she sends them to the woods as punishment to gather strawberries to eat. And guess what? You are all going to be a part of that magical forest. 
In the forest, there lives a wicked witch who waits at her house for children to come so she can turn them to gingerbread. The witch is going to take a magic ride through the audience to collect these magic branches that she's going to need to put in her pot to make a special brew. Now, the witch is going to need six assistants who are going to come up here and stay for the whole opera to help her with that magic ride. These would be elementary aged and older. Do we have six volunteers that would want to help with that? Let's see. Um, you two right here. Um, how about you right there? Oh, how about you right here? I need two more, okay, here. And you in the vest. Okay, we're gonna come back this way to get more directions. Okay, while the witches are off to get their instructions, we're gonna t uh, continue along with the story. So, Hansel and Gretel head into the forest and they start looking for strawberries. And I know a lot of you have strawberries in the audience, so when Hansel and Gretel come out to you, make sure you give them to them so that they don't go hungry. Um, many of you also have flowers, so if you have a flower, Gretel might come around to get it from you to wear in a crown on her head. So Hansel and Gretel have a great time in the forest, and they laugh, and they sing, and they play. And you know, they, they just have so much fun that they lose track of time, and it starts to get dark. They start to get a little worried, and then some scary creatures appear in the forest, and they get so, so frightened. But suddenly a new friend appears, and that is the Sleep Fairy. And the Sleep Fairy is a magical creature in the forest who protects the children and helps them to go to sleep with her magic sand. So, when you see the Sleep Fairy, if you have a bag of magic sand, you can take it out, open it up, grab the magic sand inside, and gently toss it into the air to help the children sleep. <laughs> All right, so we are going to start the show soon, but before we start the show, there is one more thing that we need your help with. At the end of the show, there is a very happy song and dance, which we are actually going to teach you now. We're going to go through it two times. Erin will sing. I am going to show you the dance moves. And this is our music director, Mr. Ishmael. So. <laughs> and you can find the words to the song in your programs, I believe on page four. So you can all sing along. And there's one movement I'm going to show you guys right now. Now, the, the children become so happy at the end that they say, hurrah, hurrah. And every time they say, hurrah, they do this. So they make a motion like this and stretch their arms in the air because they're so, so happy. So if you'd all like to try it with me, we'll just do it right now, OK? Just once. One, two, three, hurrah. hurrah! All right, nice job, guys. All right, so now we're going to sing through the song. Hurrah, we have caught the witch at last. Now at last. Look around. Is it safe? All dangers past. Hurrah, look there. The witch is that. Really dead. Turn to ginger to gingerbread. Bread. Wait, bye bye. Bye to witch's spell. Gone for sure. Now and ever more. The oven is crackling. So let us skip the joy. And sing while we are foraging inside her witch's house. We'll feast and toast there. Hail hey. the cookies baking. Hurrah, hurrah, hey hurrah, hey hurrah, hurrah. Look, the wicked witch has changed to gingerbread. Oh, very nice. Not bad for the first try. All right, we're going to try it one more time. We're going to do a little bit faster, and let's see if you guys can keep up, OK? We have caught the witch. witch at last, now at last. Look around, it's safe. All dangers past. Hurrah, look there. The, the witch, witch is, is dead, really dead. Turn, Turn to, ginger to gingerbread. 
gingerbread. Gingerbread. Say bye bye. Goodbye to witch's spell, gone for sure. The oven now is crackling. Skip so for joy. Let us dance and sing while we are foraging inside her cookie house. We'll feast and toast there. Hey. Smell the cookies baking. <gasps> has changed to gingerbread. Okay. Getting it, you're getting it. We're gonna do it one last time, and we're gonna do it at the real tempo now, so try and keep up. Hurrah, we have got the witch at last, now at last, all dangers past. She's dead, really dead, turned to gingerbread. Goodbye to witch's spell, gone for sure, now and evermore. So let us dance and sing while we are foraging inside her cookie house. We'll feast and toast there. Hey, hurrah, hurrah, hey, hurrah. show started, I wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, one, regarding our strawberries, you may have noticed they're all made out of a Japanese art form called origami. And if you would like to make some at home, there are instructions on the back of your program. And uh, a note for parents, if you could keep the aisles clear because we will be coming out there as part of the show. And if anybody is unsure as to what to do during the show, we'll be here to help. And we have another helper over here. So we hope you all enjoy Hansel and Gretel. Little Susie, what's all this about? The geese are going barefoot, they've no shoes to wear. The cobbler has leather, but nothing to spare. Why can't he make the poor geese a new? Why not let them go barefoot? Shoes. so much in need who'd oh, spare a little money to buy me a feed if I sell my bed and sleep under the trees and then I'll not be bothered by father's or heart. bothered by hunger <gasps> fleas <laughs> Oh, 
tents on our ground he wanted. She started quiet. You good for nothing, young vagrants. You call this working, shouting and singing. You think it's fair time, dancing and springing. My parents struggle beyond believing, slaving and toiling morning till evening. Come here. Let's see how much have you done. What rattle? This sock is barely begun. And you, you urchin, pray, what's the reason? You've only started on one single broomstick. Young idlers like you, I can't be abiding. I'll weep you so you'll never forget it. Stands a little man in the wood alone. He wears a little coat made of fur for bread. Say, who can the man can be standing there so silently with a little coat of fur for? Red. There 
stands a little man on no one small leg. He wears a little black cap upon his head. Say, who can the man can be standing there on one small leg? With It's my turn. Now let's pretend we're cuckoos here. Who'd steal an egg from anywhere? Away. Oh no, you're certain we've lost our way. You timid girl, don't be dismayed. I am a boy, I'm not afraid. But in so I'm sure we'll meet with some harm. Oh, Greta, no, we must be brave. What shiver? Silver birch is all wrong. 
life is so well. I don't know why. I've never slept so good as last night. Look there, look there. Oh, Greta, what mother stands over there? I've never seen such a Cookies, candies, and marzipan, strawberries. 
pancakes, they are in the oven. Fine raisins and sweet figs and apples and mangoes are waiting. Are yours for the taking, my darlings? Are yours, my darlings? I won't go with you, hideous face. You are far too friendly. Now, children, I mean you no harm, you see. You will find that my house is a paradise. Come, little mousy, come to my housey. Life with me is exciting. My cook is really inviting. What do you plan to do with him? We'll see. We too will feed him and fatten him. His scrawny limbs will tenderly nourish. We'll make him fat and delicious. And if he's good as he can be, he's patient and obedient like a sheep. Then, Hansel, a word in your ear, your moment of greatest glory is here. Just step aside, not in my ear. Huh? How does this so-called glory appear? Well, my dear children, hearing and sight vanish away in this gorgeous delight. Hey, but the hearing and seeing I give do me no harm, see, that's understood. Gretel, don't trust a word she may say. Come, sister dear, let's run away. Show me your arm. 
duckling or you'll die you'll make fine gingerbread hocus pocus elder bush loose and limbs and body push now then my puppet start your prancing come let me see your legs are moving off you go then little mouse set the table in my house tiny dish tiny plate knife and fork nice and straight tiny serviette for my tiny pet do my bidding my little gazelle or else i will lock you in there as well <laughs> Somebody, quick! What did you say, my little chick? Only may that do some good to him. Ah! May that do some good to him. <laughs> my little darling, you'll have some too, my starling. Eat, duckling. Or you'll die, you'll make fine gingerbread. Mr. Dear, do take care. My pretty little daughter, she's very appetizing. Come Gretel, dear, little petal, dear. How the oven is glowing, how all my gingerbread's going. Just take a look there, see if it's cooked, dear. Tell me what you find, do be so kind. Sister dear, do take care. Tell me what to do, don't know where to look. You must step closer, crouch down a little. Your head at first, easy as pie. Sister dear, do take care. I am so dumb, I can't get it. How I should do it. Show me how to look inside. Mark as I do, easy as pie. Stupid girl, come here. Stupid girl, like this. Gone for sure now. 